Welcome to Penetration Testing Channel. Windows Defender Antivirus can now run in a sandbox. Windows Defender Antivirus has hit a new milestone. The built-in antivirus capabilities on Windows can now run within a sandbox. With this new development, Windows Defender Antivirus becomes the first complete antivirus solution to have this capability and continues to lead the industry in raising the bar for security. Putting Windows Defender Antivirus in a restrictive process execution environment is a direct result of feedback that we received from the security industry and the research community. It was a complex undertaking we had to carefully study the implications of such an enhancement on performance and functionality. More importantly, we had to identify high-risk areas and make sure that sandboxing did not adversely affect the level of security we have been providing. While it was a tall order, we knew it was the right investment and the next step in our innovation journey. It is available to Windows Insiders today. We encourage researchers and partners to try and examine this feature and give us feedback, so we can fine-tune performance, functionality, and security before we make it broadly available. Why Sandbox? Why now? From the beginning, we designed and built Windows Defender Antivirus to be resistant to attacks. In order to inspect the whole system for malicious content and artifacts, it runs with high privileges. This makes it a candidate for attacks. Security researchers both inside and outside of Microsoft have previously identified ways that an attacker can take advantage of vulnerabilities in Windows Defender Antivirus content parsers that could enable arbitrary code execution. While we haven't seen attacks in the wild actively targeting Windows Defender Antivirus, we take these reports seriously. We immediately fixed potential problems and ramped up our own research and testing to uncover and resolve other possible issues. At the same time, we continued hardening Windows 10 in general against attacks. Hardware-based isolation, network protection, controlled folder access, exploit protection, and other technologies reduce the attack surface and increase attacker costs. Notably, escalation of privilege from a sandbox is so much more difficult on the latest versions of Windows 10. Furthermore, the integration of Windows Defender Antivirus and other Windows security technologies into Windows Defender ATPS Unified Endpoint Security Platform allows signal sharing and orchestration of threat detection and remediation across components. Running Windows Defender Antivirus in a sandbox ensures that in the unlikely event of a compromise, malicious actions are limited to the isolated environment, protecting the rest of the system from harm. This is part of Microsoft's continued investment to stay ahead of attackers through security innovations. Windows Defender Antivirus and the rest of the Windows Defender ATP stack now integrate with other security components of Microsoft 365 to form Microsoft Threat Protection. It's more important than ever to elevate security across the board, so this new enhancement in Windows Defender Antivirus could come at a better time. Implementing a Sandbox for Windows Defender Antivirus Modern anti-malware products are required to inspect many inputs. For example, files on disk, streams of data in memory, and behavioral events in real time. Many of these capabilities require full access to the resources in question. The first major sandboxing effort was related to layering Windows Defender antivirus inspection capabilities into the components that absolutely must run with full privileges and the components that can be sandboxed. The goal for the sandboxed components was to ensure that they encompass the highest risk functionality like scanning untrusted input, expanding containers, and so on. At the same time, we had to minimize the number of interactions between the two layers in order to avoid a substantial performance cost. The ability to gradually deploy this feature was another important design goal. Because we would be enabling this on a wide range of hardware and software configurations, we aim to have the ability at runtime to decide if and when the sandboxing is enabled. This means that the entire content scanning logic can work both in PROC and out of PROC, and it can't make any assumptions about running with high privileges. Performance is often the main concern raised around sandboxing. 
especially given that anti-malware products are in many critical paths like synchronously inspecting file operations and processing and aggregating or matching large numbers of runtime events. To ensure that performance doesn't degrade, we had to minimize the number of interactions between the sandbox and the privileged process, and at the same time, only perform these interactions in key moments where their cost would not be significant, and disinfection could be used to modify the detected binary in unexpected ways. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.